Hey folks, it's Eric here, the Whatever Guy, Whatever Me, and you folks want to know, is Delta 8 right for you? Stick around and I'll tell you some about that. And also, if you'll stick around to the end and smash that bell notification, because I shoot videos five or six days a week, uh, basically keeping you guys updated on the world of Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, hemp, cannabis, uh, and just basically what's going on in our realm. Having said that, uh, we are giving away one of these on September 6th, which I thought was Labor Day. Apparently it's not. Either way, at 12 noon, the computer's going to pick a winner for that. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, uh, this was a buy one, get one free over at Gray CBD Shop. Uh, and I, my plan was to use the buy one, get one free, use my code, whatever, for 15% off, and send one out, to, you know, send those out to somebody. Uh, but they killed that promotion since then. They've got other buy one, get one free promotions. But on this promotion, it's not there anymore. So on September 6th, I'm going to order two of these. I'm still going to use my code, whatever, for 15% off. And I'm going to send one of these out or send two of these out to uh, one of our lucky viewers. So you guys click that link down in the description. It says giveaway. Don't forget to smash that like notification. Don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe notification. And hit that bell notification. Because like I said, I do shoot these videos pretty much on the daily. Um, I might skip Sunday and, and, and obviously skip a couple days because of the storm and all that. Speaking of the storm, uh, as you guys know, man, I shoot videos. I try to give it to you guys blood raw. I don't normally cut my videos. Um, up until this point, I had probably stopped my videos, you know, out of 280 videos, I might have stopped my videos maybe, you know, 15, 20 times, and that's usually for a coffee pit or something like that. Having said that, I've actually stopped this video about six times today already. Um, I think, the, you know, the first couple times I'd get a, you know, a tornado warning in the middle of it, and I'd have to stop, and another time the electricity cut off, and I've definitely got no internet. Um, so, if, you know, if this video doesn't go up tonight, uh, it'll probably have to wait till tomorrow sometime, because that's the issue. Like, Saturday, I didn't get to do a weekly wrap. Uh, simply because it's just storm and hurricane Ida is coming through this way. Um, even though I think it, you know, it hit uh, New Orleans and up in that area there. Um, we're over here on the other side of Pensacola, and it's been storming and windy and raining all day. Tornado warnings all day. Uh, I would imagine that when I get up tomorrow morning and, and try to head out and go somewhere, that a couple of these bridges out in the forest are going to be out in Munson are going to be. Uh, flooded um, we normally don't get flooded like from the rain from here but as that uh, storm curves from New Orleans over the top of Alabama which as you guys know I do have a place I'm, I'm actually from two and a half hours north of here three hours north of here and that's where my mom is right now and as that rain cuts across that way inevitably we're in a little place called uh, you know Hurricane Alley or Tornado Alley uh, we end up getting a lot of that rain and that rain uh, fills up the rivers up there and you know of course and it comes down here and it, and it fills it up in this forest down here as it's heading out towards the bay uh kind of sitting around waiting also hopefully my mom's electricity doesn't go out up there because obviously if it does i'll have to head up that way and give her a hand um which is you know not a big deal i drove through the storm you know drove, drove, drove through storms a few times since then but this this weather here man is just really really bad uh i actually you know yesterday when i had a chance i actually loaded up a couple videos this morning's video because i'm actually shooting this on monday afternoon for tuesday morning for you guys um i shot yesterday's videos and got as much of it done as i could while the internet was running um, so hopefully this video goes out in the morning, and if it doesn't, you guys will know what's going on. But sometime tomorrow, I'll, I'll try to have this video up uh, on this channel and on the Whatever Guys Free Game. For those of you that don't know, I am going to be put, posting more videos over to Whatever Guys Free Game. Uh, I'll probably be taking the videos like this one here. What I'll do is I'll change the name of it up a little bit, and I'll but it'll be the same video. And then in the, in the afternoons over there, my plan is to load videos from the Whatever Guys channel uh, to the Whatever Guys Free Game channel. Uh, the videos that have like the most views. I've got like 10 or 15 videos. Uh, some of those got, you know, five, 10,000 views on them. What I will do is, uh, you know, I will repurpose those videos and load those up over there so that if ever something ever happens over here again, I've at least got that content up on the internet for people to see because we talked about that before. Uh, you know, being in the realm that we are in and in, in the controversial subject that we're in, and let's just face it, man, Google and YouTube are not going to, you know, share our videos as much as possible, you know, as much as they would uh, someone else's videos. And, and, and the truth of it is, is in our world, man, we, we need to get this information out as much as possible as we can. Uh, you know, talk about that FedEx thing the other day and, and, and a lot of the issues with, uh, you know, legalization coming forward. Um, you know, they just, they don't want us sharing our videos out there. You know, it's hard to get monetization on these videos that we have. I think I've got maybe, you know, I've got quite a few videos up, 280 videos up or so. Uh, and, and, you know, three quarters of them are uh, limited monetization because, you know, it's such a controversial subject. They're not going to share uh, people in our realm, like, you know, uh, you know, cannabis industry lawyer, the LMC, uh, the 710 Morning Show, stuff like that. They're not going to share those videos out, uh, that content out or at least introduce that content to new viewers as much as they want anyone else. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, a lot of times you might not see uh, the information that we have to spread. So you guys, if 
you like the content, you know, I don't charge anything for this content here. Um, you know, so if you guys like the videos, or at least even if you don't like mine, but you're in this world, at least find someone's uh, information that you know that's putting information out there and try to share that out so that so other people will get a chance to see it too, man. And people don't get caught in some sort of uh, you know FedEx delivery guy driving up to your house and, and delivering weed to your house. Uh, you know, really be a cop in a, in a FedEx uniform. So hopefully uh, we can avoid some of those situations down the road. And obviously. You know, with legalization coming forward, we want to know what states and what representatives and stuff like that are actually holding up legalization uh, because, you know, obviously we want to be uh, active in this community here as far as, uh, you know, bringing legalization forward of marijuana, cannabis, hemp, and, and, and stuff like that. All right, man, so moving forward, uh, a little bit of news before I get on to this, uh, this delta eight right for you. Uh, New York, as you guys know, New York has uh, legalized marijuana in the state, but if I, I think my understanding is they don't have any dispensaries up right now. Uh, so I think what's happening now is they're trying to, they're trying to fast forward that a little bit quicker. As you guys know, Andrew Cuomo stepped down because of sexual harassment charges. Uh, but the deal is on that is like, um, the lady that's coming in as being the governor and I forget her name, she has actually taken the reins and actually, uh, you know, is stepping forward and doing a few things, um, and being proactive in, uh, what's going on in her state. And so they're going to fast forward the whole, uh, you know, cannabis legalization, and the dispensaries and all that kind of stuff and get a handle on it simply because New Jersey and those states around it, we talked about this before, uh, when those states are around them that have legalization, uh, you know, they're losing revenue, they're losing tourism. So a lot of, you know, I personally, let's just, you know, let's be honest, you know, if I flew in New York and, um, and I wanted some marijuana and I couldn't get it in New York, I would, you know, hop in a car and drive over to New Jersey and pick some up and come back. And New York could easily uh, keep that tax money in the state. And so that's kind of what they're what they're on right now. That you know that's their uh, you know that's that's the factor that they're thinking of coming forward. And so I think what's going to happen is you're going to see a really fast, uh, quick um, uh, adherence of the rules as far as you know uh, what they got going on and how they're going to go ahead and implement these uh, you know the cannabis legalization going forward in, in New York because they don't want to be losing that tax revenue and they don't want to be losing tourism uh, to people driving over to New Jersey, uh, you know, giving money away over there when they could be collecting it in the state. Um, in, in, instead of there. All right, man. So talking about uh, things moving forward, I saw a, uh, a uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big proponent of like, you know, I have a few sayings that I say, and one of them I say is, is that uh, competition drives ingenuity. You know, there's a reason why uh, CVS is across the street from, uh, you know, from Walgreens. And there's a reason why Burger King, Burger King is, a, is across the street from McDonald's. And that's one of the sayings that I say. I ran across a saying uh, that I've actually heard a long time ago, and I haven't heard it in a long time, and it just made me laugh about the whole thing. It says, failure is the mother of success. And, you know, I, I think about that, the failure is the mother of success. I, you know, if that's the case, um, then I would be the most successful person on the face of the earth because you're looking at somebody that has failed quite a bit. So hopefully uh, that statement right there will, will come forward for me. I, I just thought that was kind of funny. I saw that failure is the mother of success. And, uh, and, that, and that's probably a true statement all the way around. It's just the success part of it hasn't come around for me yet. Uh, maybe it has for you. So you guys comment down in the description down there in the, in the comment section. Tell me what you think about that. Failure is the mother of success. Maybe you guys can comment and tell me what you think. Uh, you know, because obviously uh, a lot of us fail. Uh, but I just, you know, I don't know. Every time I see that right there, failure, I, I just, it brings a smile on my face. Because as it stands, you know, it's like, you know, I get two or three runs up and I get knocked down all the time. So, uh, and, and maybe failure is a mother of success. But, uh, you know, it hasn't proven out for me right now. And I'm almost 50 years old. <laughs> so anyway, there's several reasons why uh, Delta 8 might be good for you. And I, and I actually cover a few reasons why Delta 8 might not be good for you. Uh, so one of the things is that Delta 8 is actually the thing that brought CBD across the line as far as, uh, you know, the conundrum that I've talked to you guys about before about people in the CBD realm. The problem, you know, the thing with CBD is that you can take CBD and it will take a while for it to get in your system, but it will actually get down and start healing uh, the things that are going on in your body from the inside out, as opposed to an opioid that will just go in and mask it, mask uh, the pain for a little while, but you're really not getting any healing benefits out of it. Delta-8 was the one thing that helped bring CBD across the line and give it that punch and give it that impact right now. And uh, that's another reason why uh, I think that, you know, Delta-8 might would be a really good product for those folks out there, as opposed to opioids, simply because Delta eight does give it the impact right now. It does give you some, you know, pain relief right now. It does give you some uh, uh, relief all the way around, you know, like an opioid would. And you know, you could mix it with CBD, CBN, and stuff like that to get, uh, you know, that 
you know, the concoction that you're looking for to heal the processes that are going on in your body. There are a lot of uh, um, whole plant hemp uh, stuff out there and, and CBD out there that will really uh, heal inflammation and, and things that are going on in your body. And of course, if you're, you know, if you tried CBD before and you didn't get any relief from it, because, you know, nine, nine times out of 10, what happens is people start taking CBD and then two or three weeks later, uh, you know, they about the time, that, you know, they get enough phytocannabinoids in your system to start working with the endocannabinoids, they will get away from it because they just, they haven't seen any relief and they will go back to the opioids. With the Delta-8 uh, mixed with CBD, you would get that impact right now and you would get the healing benefits of uh, CBD later on. And hopefully, uh, you know, that would benefit you in the future. Uh, another thing that uh, Delta-8 helps with is anxiety and paranoia. I'm, I'm a poster child for that. Um, I've got a lot of anxiety and paranoia. I've told you guys before that I'm, you know, I could be driving that two-hour trip from my house in Alabama uh, down here to Milton, and I might be driving through Bruton, which is an hour away from Milton, and, and you know, an hour later I'm in Milton and I see a truck behind me. I've questioned myself of whether that truck was following me in Bruton. Did I see? Did I just see that truck in Bruton? You know, because that's the type of you know paranoid uh, paranoia and anxiety uh, that I carry around personally on a daily basis. Um, and, and I could lay blame in a lot of in a lot of places for you know the reason of that anxiety and paranoia, but the fact is I've got it, and so I have to deal with it. And uh, Delta Eight is something that has helped me uh, move forward and and not experience the same type of anxiety and paranoia that I would if I hadn't had Delta Eight. Uh, Delta Eight is also a mood uh, could be a mood enhancer or a uh, uh, or something that would calm you down. Um, you know, I, it, you, if you talk about indicas or sativas, it's the same thing that works in uh, Delta 9, that works in Delta 8. Sativas are a pick-me-up, so to speak, you know, more of a cerebral high. And uh, indicas are more of a body relaxing type of high. And so, uh, you know, in, in those same aspects, cannabis uh, and Delta 8 are exactly the same, uh, other than the fact that Delta 8 uh, would give you a milder high uh, or, mild, or a milder psychosis effect um, than, say, Delta 9 would. For those of you that have, are long-time head, uh, heads like I am, uh, you guys know, man, that you can get some loud, uh, some really loud stuff, man. I'm talking about that really sticky bud, man, that you throw against the wall and it sticks. Uh, that stuff can run you off the mountain, man. You know, it can, it can run you to the edge and just dump you right off, and you can be uh, peeking out the windows, man, uh, you know, and just be, you know, paranoid, schizophrenic, and you know, whatever, simply because you've got some really, really good weed. Uh, chances are with Delta 8, you're not going to get that. You know, Delta 8 is going to take you to the edge of the mountain, and it's just going to, you know, it's going to run you around in circles. And it's really not going to take you out there too far. Uh, so, again, uh, Delta 8 is a much milder high than, say, Delta 9 is. Um, and also, you know, for those people out there that are, uh, which is another reason, another, those people out there that are first coming to cannabis or, or first uh, deciding they want to try cannabis or hemp, uh, you know, it, for, uh, you know, some people that don't um, think that they're up to the challenge of Delta 9, you know, an easier way or a, a more low-level way for them to ease into cannabis and hemp would be Delta 8. Uh, and, and that's obviously something to think about. There are a lot of people out there uh, that don't want, um, you know, to get as far out there as Delta 9 can take you. And obviously, if it's your first time trying Delta 8 or Delta 9, I would suggest that you try Delta 8 all the way around. Um, let's see here. Oh, and, and, and another main thing is in the rain, you know, one of the main reasons why I got into it was simply because uh, there are a lot of people out there. You know, I get a lot of comments on my channel all the time. People are always saying, uh, you know, we'll just smoke Delta 9. Well, you know, that's easy for you guys to say that if you're in a legal state and you can just run down the road and go buy it. But, but we, you know, I personally don't live in one of those states. I live in a vital belt, man. Uh, you know, we got a lot of two things in, in, in the area that I live in, and, and that's Southern hospitality and churches. Uh, you know, and so it's really hard to change the minds of people around here. And the, and the deal is that it'll be a long time before marijuana is legal in Alabama and possibly Florida. Uh, you know, and there are states out there, obviously 11, I think 12 states now that we have recreational marijuana in. Um, if I was living in one of those states, yeah, I would probably be smoking cannabis. I would probably be running down to the store and buying, uh, you know, some OG Kush, can you know, Delta 9 rather than some OG Kush Delta 8, uh, which is another reason why Delta 8 might be right for you. Because like I said, you want to be legal. Um, the 2018 Farm Bill makes uh, Delta 8 legal, federally legal in the state, as opposed to even if you're buying marijuana in uh, Colorado, you are still breaking a federal law. So that is another reason why Delta 8 might be right for you. Now, I'm going to talk to you about why Delta 8 might not be good for you. And um, basically, I have two things. I was talking to a guy down uh, named Dakota down at the uh, river yesterday here in the forest in, in, in Munson, um, or actually in between Munson and, and uh, Milton. And uh, this is where my chick stays. And so I was down there. I took, uh, took, took a kid down there. We were looking at the flooding and stuff like that. And there was a guy named Dakota down there uh, fishing. 
And so one of the things I was talking to him about was the fact that he was on probation and he smokes Delta 8 once in a while, obviously, uh, for reasons that I've talked about many times on this channel. Um, but one of the things he brought forward was headaches. Um, for those of you that are out there uh, smoking Delta 8, the chances are uh, Delta 8 is not a regulated uh, market right now. And so there are companies out there that are doing things right, right now. However, there are a lot of companies, and let me just show this one right here that I got yesterday, that aren't doing things right. And, and the thing is, is that those companies that are doing things right will, will stick their heads above everyone else because you got to think that later on this market will be regulated. But as it stands right now, it's not. So you can go into a gas station, pick up something like this for 20 bucks, have some really good potent juice in it, but have a shitty device. Or chances are, if it's a low quality product and a widely distributed, distributed product, because widely distributed products usually come at a price of low quality, you're going to end up with headaches. You're going to end up with um, uh, being in a bad mood. It's not going to give you the effect that you want. And so um, it, it basically in the Delta 8 market, it kind of goes almost to the T. Uh, you get what you pay for. So if you go into a place and you think you're going to buy Delta 8 or Delta 9 for 9 10 $20 or whatever the case is, you get what you pay for. Go to buy Delta 8 online and buy those $10 carts over there and then go to uh, Blue Moon Hemp and buy one of those carts. Set them side by side, do a Pepsi challenge and find out that uh, Delta 8 uh, you know, there's such a wide disparity in the, in the quality of these companies that are putting Delta 8 out. Because right now, basically what it boils down to is, is that I could open up, uh, you know, my barn down there and start filling carts up and start selling these carts with no regulation whatsoever. And that is the problem in Delta 8. There is not a lot of uh, regulation in the Delta 8 market. So for those of you that are out there coming to Delta 8, I would suggest that you try to move towards companies. Or at least, if you don't like my channel, get on somebody's channel uh, that you like and that you trust. And that, you know, that, and talk to them back and forth. I personally, I try to answer every comment that comes on my channel. Um, and, and I may be late coming to it, but, but chances are I'm going to answer that comment at some point. Even if I have to go back, you know, I, I have missed a couple where I'll go back a couple weeks. But I'm going to try to answer every comment that I get on this channel simply because I'm passing on information. I don't want you guys going to the gas stations and picking up crap like this, spending $20 on crap like this, when you could take that $20, that same $20, and buy something from a reputable company that is doing things right and not have to deal with the headaches and stuff like that. Because, again, Delta 8 is not a regulated market at this point. Uh, another thing uh, that you might not, uh, you know, Delta 8 might not be right for you is simply the, the flower thing. We talked about this many times before. Uh, Delta 8 is found in such minute amounts in the hemp plant, not the cannabis plant, in the hemp plant, that they have to extract it, okay? And so we, there is no true form of Delta-8 flower. So any flower that you and I would get, if you if you like to smoke flower, would have to be dipped or sprayed or some way infused with that Delta-8 distillate, okay? Um, so the thing is about it is, is that you're not gonna get any true form of Delta-8 flower uh, to smoke. Like I said, this flower right here, uh, this is some, um, I think, wedding cake flour that I got from over at, uh, you know, that was sent to me a while back. I, I don't think I've done a review on it. You guys can see this is a really, uh, not a bad looking chunk of flour right here, but you have to remember uh, that this is basically CBD flour, hemp flour, and that they've had to either dip this or spray it with Delta 8 so that I could ingest it to get some sort of effects out of it. And that brings us to the third reason why Delta 8 might not be good for you. And that's simply because most people come to Delta 8 through distillate. Again, uh, Delta 8 is found in such minute amounts that they have to extract it. So any form of Delta 8 we would get would be a more concentrated form uh, than, um, say, you would get if you were just going in and picking a butt off and smoking it. Uh, again, if, they, if they're dipping this in Delta 8 and then we've got uh, a, a full cart of distillate, uh, chances are your tolerance levels when you, when you deal with Delta 8 are going to be up there. And chances are flour is really, you know, Delta 8 flour is really not going to do too much for you unless it's a really, really bumping type of flour. And I haven't found too many bumping flours because, like I said, most people come to Delta 8 through, uh, you know, distillate, which is uh, a more concentrated form than you would get, say, if you were just uh, smoking Delta, you know, you know, Delta 9, if you went to, a, you know, weed, pull a bud off the plant, you're going to get that, you know, that high effect. Obviously, if it was distilled down into a distillate form, you would be getting a more potent form of Delta 9. And that, that same goes for Delta 8. Uh, but like I said, uh, any flour we would get would have to be dipped or sprayed. Uh, so your tolerance level when you're smoking flour would have to be uh, really low, and that's not the case with Delta 8 users. So if you're a, if you're a flour smoker uh, like I used to be, which, you know, I still am when I'm back on cannabis, um, again, 
Flower's not going to be, you know, all Flower's probably not going to be your alternative unless you're smart and come to Delta Eight through Flower first, and and then maybe move like maybe move later on into uh, Vape Park. All right, folks, uh, that's pretty much the end of that video right there for you guys. Hopefully, it's uh, gained some information out of that and find out why you know is Delta Eight right for you or not. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please hit me down in the description or in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer those comments and questions. And obviously, I can put my email out there, which is Eric at the Whatever Guy Shop dot com. Uh, the whatever guy shop at gmail.com or the whatever guy handyman at gmail.com. You guys send those questions out and I will be more than happy to answer those and help you find out if Delta 8 is right for you. And if you're looking for reputable companies out there so that you don't experience things like headaches and stuff like that, you can contact me and I can send you over to uh, some really good places and possibly give you some discount codes that would save you money on Delta 8 in the future. All right, folks, it's whatever guy signing off, man. Don't forget, giveaway links down in the description. You guys smash that subscribe button, smash that notification button. Because like I said, I shoot those videos five or six days a week, and uh, I'm giving away one of those, actually two of those on September 6th, which is next week. You guys get on that giveaway, and I hope uh, good luck for somebody, one of our viewers is getting that. All right, love you guys, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.